Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am your coach Annie and I am here to help you with your spoken English, your vocabulary and your communication skills. And I know I have been super evolved, inconsistent with putting out videos regularly. Uh, it's just that I was swamped with work and other things. But today I uh, get to do this and I'm super happy about it. I'm actually very excited for today's video and I kid you not, it is literally 11 p.m. right now and I need to go to work tomorrow. But still, I was so excited that I had to put this video out. And today's video is going to be about a book haul that I recently did. As you all know that I love reading and I, you know, constantly keep on buying new books and reading and uh, my Instagram, my YouTube is filled with recommendations for books, uh, book talk, bookstagram and stuff. So I get influenced a lot and I just, you know, buy any book that I see if anybody recommends it. So I did a major book haul yesterday and I'm super excited to show you the books that I got and I'm so excited to be you know reading this so if you have read any of these books if you have any other recommendations please let me know let's begin okay so the first book that I got is Bride by Ali Hazelwood uh, if you follow me or if you watch my videos regularly you should know that I am a big Ali Hazelwood fan and actually her STEM series, the romance um, series that she has written for women in STEM, A Love Hypothesis, Love on the Brain, those are actually my favorites. And she has written her fantasy book. So of course, I had to get it. I had to read it. I love fantasy. And this is uh, like a vampire a werewolf type of situations and I'm very excited about it because um, the reviews for this were crazy and I already like her writing style I've read her books before and I absolutely love them so yes of course I had to get this and I'm a lot into fantasy books right now so The Bride by Ali Hazelwood I'm pretty actually excited for this. I actually went to buy this and I ended up with other books too. But yeah, this book I'm pretty excited to read and I'll be reading it soon. Okay, so the next book that has been popping on my recommendations and my uh, like, what do we call it? Feed a lot is this Icebreaker by Hannah Grace and uh, don't go on the cover they say the cover looks very cute but in fact it's actually a very uh, spicy book it, it is written here 18 plus content not suitable for young readers so this is again like a sports um, we can say romance uh, it's very spicy and steamy and everybody was like uh, going bonkers about this and they were giving a lot of good reviews so I had to get it this would be my first time reading um, like a sports uh, we can say in that genre a sports related uh, romance book so I'm pretty excited about it and um, yeah so icebreaker is the second book that i got and i'm actually very excited to read this next book that i got is the american roommate experiment by elena armas you must have heard of the book uh, the spanish uh, deception uh, the spanish love deception and she is the same author and i absolutely loved loved spanish uh, love deception so i had to get this but uh, I actually read it like the day I bought it I read it and I am a little disappointed because I did not like it as much as I liked the Spanish love deception and I felt that the characters were a little bland for me there was nothing major happening in this book and uh, like as much as I loved Aaron Blackford in Spanish Love Deception 
Lucas Martin didn't actually stick out to me so much. It, I know like uh, I shouldn't be judging anybody's writing, but as a reader, I felt that this book was mid mid to say like I did not like it. I did not enjoy it. I read it to read it to complete it, but. Uh, like in the starting it was nice but then it just kind of got very plain so the American roommate experiment for me is like a bit no uh, you might read it and see if you like it but for me I would have to say that it did not stick out to me okay so the next book that I am very excited about is powerless like I know I haven't read this yet and Everybody on the internet is going crazy about, you know, Kai and Payden. And I've watched so many like reels about this, this book, Powerless. And I'm super, super excited. I actually love fantasy, like romanticy, fantasy with some romance in it. And this is like this, this was a recommendation that was going on everywhere. And I'm so excited for this because I love such kind of books. I love romance with a bit of fantasy in it, like fantasy, romance set in fantasy world. And for me, like nowadays, if I read like normal books, I just feel something is missing, like that magical element, like where are the fae, where are the dragons, where are the vampires, like why aren't we going to a war college, like this um like fantasy genre has like spoiled everything else for me i cannot enjoy any other um genre as much as i do fantasy so powerless is another read that i am absolutely absolutely you know like very excited to read it does not have any spice in it it's a young adult so you can read it and uh like it is about like enemies to lovers and give me any fantasy book with enemies to lovers in it i am going to eat it i love enemies to lovers like that's my favorite favorite trope and then i also got reckless which i think is the second part of it and uh, so yeah i got powerless and reckless that i'm pretty excited to read about and i love the cover i love the gold embellishment i love the design it is actually very nice and like you can see these are new i haven't even you know opened it yet I've, i haven't unsealed it yet and i'm pretty excited to read this and it's it's going to be amazing i think because of all the reviews that I have read and I've seen. So yeah, I think this is going to be my next read. Okay, so the next read is actually a very adult, like 18 plus content. And it is the God of Wrath and God of Ruin series by Rena Kent. Rena Kent is known for her dark romance. And I hadn't read these books. Like I am very... Uh, we can say new to these the only dark romance I think I've read is Haunting Adeline a uh, Hunting Adeline and The Ritual I have read it and like kind of um, like God of uh, Roth uh, sorry King of Roth King of S uh, Sin by Anna Jung those kind of but I don't think it's that dark but this is like very dark and um, I'm pretty excited to read this because the entire internet like on my feed actually is going crazy about Jeremy uh, Volkov and Landon King who are the two you know guys from this universe Rena Kent universe and she has a massive massive following it's almost like a cult and I am pretty excited to ruin uh, my life with this because once you read these kind of books it's very hard to go back to normal reality so yeah this uh, like this is going to ruin my life and I'm absolutely here for it and lastly I have already read this series but I finally 
finally got my hands on the Shatter Me box set. The Unravel Me is missing. Not missing because my brother is actually reading it right now. So yeah, finally I got the Shatter Me series, like my favorite series. And I didn't own a hard copy, which was quite embarrassing for me. And now finally I get to keep Aaron Warner with me all the time. I am so, so excited. Like, honestly, I am so confused. Like, should I read all these new books that I've bought? Or should I just go back to reading Shatter Me series? And I honestly want to reread it. Like, I need to read about Aaron Warner again. So if you haven't read about Shatter Me series, Shatter Me is a dystopian novel. It follows a girl, Juliet Ferraz, who has superpowers. Actually, everybody like in their, uh, we can say, place does. And she is locked up for that. And then she, you know, overthrows the government. Uh, it's a very nice the whole thing. It's again, any enemies to lovers. And I... I'm such a big sucker for enemies to lovers and this is fiction it's a dystopian I love dystopia and oh my god Aaron Warner has my heart Kenji has my heart and I am super excited if you had to pick one series like that I recommend it obviously has to be Shatter Me series you have to read Shatter Me series it's it's amazing it's amazing also just see this amazing bookmark that i made like obviously you can't see it because it's inverted but i made this it's written love a fiction uh, which is basically my mantra just look just look how cute it is and if anybody wants to send me cute bookmarks please please do send it and that was it for today's video I really enjoyed making this video, sharing um, the kind of stuff that I love with you all. If you have any more recommendations or if you want to get any type of recommendations, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.